and egypt an old age lady undergone abdominal surgery she was diagnosed with sirs syndrome on the day 4 what are the features of sirs so this is a very simple straight forward question and egypt an old age lady undergone abdominal surgery she was diagnosed with sirs syndrome on the day 4 what are the features of sirs so this is a very simple straight forward question sirs consists of four important parameters what are the parameters of sirs systemic inflammatory response syndrome s i r s heart rate more than 90 per minute respiratory rate more than 20 per minute or because of this increased respiratory rate there will be fall in psu2 so psu2 less than 30 mmhg respiratory rate we have seen we have seen heart rate and then we see one more thing that is temperature temperature of the patient more than 38 degree centigrade or less than 36 degree centigrade then wbc count more than 12000 per mm cube or less than 4000 per mm cube remember the criteria is if more than two parameters are positive this is what is sirs now one more thing that we all should be knowing is that if we add to this sirs the component of infection this is what is known as sepsis to this component of sepsis if we add hypotension if we add hypotension this is what is known as septic shock this is known as septic shock to this concept of sepsis if we add to this concept of sepsis if we add organ failure organ failure this is what is known as sepsis syndrome so these are important thing that we all have to understand so if we see this question this is a very easy question normal body temperature this is wrong respiratory rate more than no this is partially right but this is wrong respiratory no this is also wrong wbc more than 12000 less than so option b is correct option here now if we go to the next question this is again a very interesting question let's see a 31 year old man a 31 year old man was admitted to the er department after a high speed vehicle crash he was unstrained at the time of impact the patient was thrown from the vehicle sustaining sudden substantial facial and chest trauma the patient was conscious at the time of admission and hemodynamically stable but he complained of severe right shoulder and chest pain a supine chest radiograph on portable unit showed a left hemithorax mild widening of superior mediastinum and absence of definable auto pulmonary window remember left sided left sided hemothorax along with that loss of aortic knuckle shadow loss of aortic knuckle along with that loss of ap auto pulmonary window so loss of uh, and then widening of mediastinum so mediastinal widening mediastinal widening widening along with that tracheal deviation tracheal deviation yeah you can see the right sided tracheal deviation so this tracheal deviation is to right this is all suggestive of only one thing that is aortic rupture remember why this patient is hemodynamically stable because this is contained under the mediastinal fascia so mediastinal fascia is containing that and this is probably the descending aortic thoracic injury so the option is d the question might seem to be very long but it takes only 2 minutes to decode the question and explain the concept 